primers are one of my favorite new products to try. What are we talking about? All makeup is <laughs> all makeup is my new favorite product to try. So let me stop. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So y'all know your girl has a problem. I have a problem and I have another haul. I picked up some stuff from the Ipsy BoxyCharm drop shop. I thought you could only get access to this stuff if you were still a current member, but as long as your login ID and password still work, I've been getting emails saying, hey, you now have access to the drop shop and there has been some really good stuff in there. So I'm going to share with you the stuff that I picked up. But before I do, if this is your first time checking out my channel, I would love to have you stick around and join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of hauls, shopping for makeup, shopping for nails, shopping for wigs, fitness sprinkled in, everything related to beauty. So if you love that kind of stuff, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting. If you want to see what I picked up in this, it's a pretty big haul, but it's like so steeply discounted. You, you got to stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so this is the box right here. <laughs> Pretty big box. Um, I'm just going to pick and go because I'm not going to sit here and try to organize all this stuff at once. So we got brushes. We have lip masks. We have makeup. We have hair stuff. A little bit of everything. Starting off, I have the Trace Luce. Trace Luce. Of course, you start off not knowing how to pronounce something. This is their Duo Highlighter Brush. I have never purchased anything from this brand and I always try to get brushes discounted because they can be expensive and because I don't like to wash my brushes that much. So I buy extras for when I'm running behind washing. But this is what, it's like, why can't get this out? This is what it looks like. And I love that it's dual ended. I love dual ended stuff to be able to put in my travel bag. I'm surprised this one is a, I'm guessing this one may be for like liquid since it's thicker and more dense. And then I'm used to seeing the ones like this for powder highlighter. So I think I like this. I like this blue for sure. But yeah, just, I don't even remember the prices. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but go to just type in, I'll try to put a link below if I can find one, but it's just Ipsy Mega Drop Shop or something like that. And it'll bring you to it. I picked up some skincare as well. This is the Tula Skincare So Smooth Resurfacing and Brightening Fruit Enzyme Mask. I wish I remembered the prices of these. You know what? I could probably look it up. Let me be a good YouTuber influencer and tell you. Yay, I found it. Okay, so I had to go through my order history. So apparently, glad I did. I have three of those brushes. So I can go ahead and pull those out right now. Those were $6 a piece. And then this Tula skincare item, this was only $12. Now, I do not know the original prices. I only have the price that I paid for it. So this is just a resurfacing mask. Yes, resurfacing mask. I have not been using a lot of masks lately. I've been using my Polish Choice exfoliant. And that seems to do pretty well with the texture. But every now and then, when it gets a little worse, I want to get back into doing my self-care Sundays, I do my nails, I do my hair, and doing a facial mask and just kind of doing some skincare stuff. So for this price, skincare is always expensive, so I always want to try to get it on sale when I can. Up next, I picked up one of the LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer Sticks. I do not remember which video it was in, but I have the one that I think is in Strength. And I said then that that one was super dark and I had to be really careful and I was probably gonna pick up a lighter shade so I didn't have to stress about application so much. So this one is in the shade Courage, which says tan. And at the time, I just really did not think that this one was gonna be dark enough for me. I'm still not 100% sure, but that other one is like, oh yeah, it is, okay. So I love the formula of this. It is so creamy, so smooth. Blends out easily, but they are very highly pigmented. And so I definitely was a little overzealous when I bought this in the darker shade. I will still wear it because I love me a good contour, but 
I do that for full glam days. I wanted to be able to wear it on days when I'm not wearing as much makeup. That was $12. I was excited to see that they have fragrances and I tried, I picked up one that I have never tried the brand before. This is Commodity Gold and it didn't have notes. I looked them up. I don't remember what they were, but this was $12. So I was like, you know, this will be good for me to try it. I've heard a lot of people talk about commodity fragrances, but I've never seen them in person to be able to smell them. So kind of a blind buy, but I feel like I don't have anything on right now. I'm going to let this dry down. I feel like it's a little masculine. It doesn't say, it says scent space expressive for me and the many around me. I don't even know what that means. This definitely smells a bit masculine, so it will be a gift. But I don't know, I've kind of been liking some, some, not all, some masculine smelling stuff on myself. But that one's a little too much. The next thing I picked up is this OPV Beauty Glow Perfect Face Palette. This is another brand that I had not heard of but i was kind of intrigued i actually a lot of people don't love face palettes what did i do with my tweezers that fast okay so this was only seven dollars and i feel like for a face palette you can't beat that i have a couple others that i think i've kind of outgrown and so first of all the packaging giving me patrick ta vibes but i saw this orange and i was just like is this not Screaming Summer? This is in the shade one. And I feel like that bronzer is going to be dark enough. So, oh yeah, she is. And that is super warm. So I feel like this would just be so pretty for a nice, ooh, summer glows. I don't know. I guess that's supposed to be a blush, but I almost feel like that would be gorgeous as an eyeshadow too. So those are those shades there, but those are really, really soft. They don't feel like creams at all, but they're kind of, I don't know, they're soft. They're definitely soft. So it says up to 15 hour wear for these. Have y'all heard of this brand before? Have you tried them? I just thought the packaging looked super luxe and I like face palettes. So $7, you can't beat it. I also picked up this Renew Lip Oil from Sigma. I actually, I feel like I have another one of these in here somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I did get two of them. These were $13. And this just says that it's in the shade Tint. But I feel like it was going to be, yes, the perfect kind of brown nude shade for a lip oil that would look gorgeous just with lip gloss. So I felt like I needed to pick it up because I put these in my purse. I have one in the car. I just, I like to have glossy lips now. I used to hate it because I hated how big my lips were. And now everybody loves big lips. So I'm going to play them up. I'm going to make them shiny. I'm going to make them pop. Love lip oils. Next, I picked up a shampoo and conditioner. These were $15 each. These bottles are so small. I was really like, what? That's a sale? But this is IGK and I know it's an expensive brand. This is their Payday Instant Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's supposed to be good for breakage protection and to give you softer hair. I know this brand is supposed to be really good and I'm trying to remember. I've tried their serum and maybe a dry shampoo or Thirsty Girl leave-in conditioner. I believe that's what it was. So I've tried a couple of their things and I liked it. And I just wanted to try this shampoo and conditioner because it said it was good for breakage. I have been trimming my hair and going to the salon to start getting more maintenance work done, especially with having my shoulder surgery. My range of motion is getting there, but it's still just a lot of work and a lot of soreness after washing my own hair. So my relaxer went to the salon to do it right after I had surgery and I needed to get my hair washed, went to the salon to do it. So... Not happy about spending the extra money and I'll be glad when I'm back to normal, but it actually really has been good for my hair and I do feel like it's looking shinier. The ends are healthy. So if I can try to maintain it, at least like getting my relaxers done, I'll do that. But long story short, I'm trying to do better. I've always done pretty well with my hair at home, but I like trying out high-end hair products 
especially for a discount. I also picked up a whipped coconut makeup remover by the brand Strip Makeup. Again, this is a brand. Do I smell this through the... This is a brand that I hadn't heard of. It says melting and moisturizing no rinse cleanser with skincare actives. It has mango seed butter, ginseng, and white tea. What you mean no rinse? I don't understand. How do you use this? Massage in circular motions to dry skin using fingertips to break down makeup and residue even around the eyes. If desired, add water to emulsify the oil. Massage again. Rinse with lukewarm water or wipe off with a makeup, makeup removal cloth. Okay, I guess. I wonder if all beauty moms, uh, cleansing moms are like that. I would never. But, I mean, I guess you can. I wouldn't do that if I had a lot of makeup on. I feel like I smell this. Smells coconutty. I smell something though. It's not this, but this is what it looks like. So it does look like it's whipped. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like my lights are super bright and it's because I have my light on above my head. You know what? I don't think this looks bad. I'm gonna leave it on. I hope my footage doesn't look bad, but I have extra light on right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, so it's a whipped texture, but it's a really small. I'm used to getting these bigger, but this was $12. I use a cleansing balm every single time I wash my makeup off, so can never have enough of those and love trying new brands. I picked up another product from Sigma. This is their Hydro Melt Lip Mask in the shade Hush. I always wear a lip mask for bed. I'm almost done with the Milani Avocado one. It's okay. Um, if I, I wouldn't repurchase it. I just don't feel like it's like that revolutionary. But I wanted to try something else. Um, oh, it's cute. It comes with this little spatula. But I do want to feel the texture of this to see if it's like, I don't smell anything. Hmm. It's a very thick formula, which is good for a night mask. I just feel like I'm gonna have to like dig my nail in it to scrape it up versus it being like the I'm picturing it. What's the lip mask? Sleeping lip. Laneige. The Laneige one is kind of more creamy. This one is not that. This has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, jojoba oil, and shea butter. So definitely has some good ingredients there that are good for hydrating. But I think with this texture, it's going to go on and stay on all night. Oh, sorry. And the price of this was $13. I also picked up the Dermalect Revitalite Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. This, my eyelids and my dark circles are one of my biggest insecurities, biggest gripes about when I don't wear makeup besides my hyperpigmentation. The hyperpigmentation I can cover and not look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. But a lot of times when I try to cover up my dark circles in my eyes, then it looks like makeup and then I just end up putting a full face of makeup on. So I wanted to see how this works. The price of it was $18. And it says this is a professional strength five in one eye treatment, addresses serious dark circles, reduces the look of tired and puffy under eye bags, lift and tighten the appearance of droopy eyelids, light diffusing pigments instantly and cleverly conceal any damage, and then the cooling tip applicator makes your eyes feel rejuvenated and energized. So this is what it looks like. You get a good bit of product in here. If you pull this off, what's happening? Yeah, and then it has that cooling applicator there. I can tell you right now, I'm bringing this in the bathroom with me to try out tonight. I have two lip liners. The first one is from Dose of Colors and this one is in the shade Lavish. This was five dollars and i don't know why i thought it was a brown but i feel like this looks a little more red but i don't have any lip liners from them i kind of like the design of this she is retractable so you're winning yeah that is definitely a red but not mad at it i have another video that i posted doing a red lip it was actually my christmas look and i loved it and got so many compliments so I said that moving forward this year, I was gonna start wearing more red. So this is right on time. The last one, 
Another lip liner I picked up is from the brand Beauty For Real. Another brand I hadn't heard of. This was $4. This is their Define Lip Pencil, also retractable. It looks like a burgundy brown. Yeah, so you can see definitely two different shades. That one is very dark, but it also feels very creamy. So would be perfect for a lip look like I have today. And like I said, that one was only $5, so not bad for a lip liner, especially I love the fact that it's retractable. I finally picked up this Ace Beauté Ultimate Sculpt Face Palette. I remember this was $40 because I saw when it came out, I was like, I really want that. And then I was like, you don't need to spend $40 on this. And I ended up getting it for $17. So definitely feel like that was a steal. And let's see what it looks like. I think I remember looking at this when it came in and feeling like I was really happy that it had these two super dark shades because a lot of times palettes like these, they have like three dark light shades and then one dark and it's not even dark enough. So really happy that they made this. I feel like more to cater towards darker skin tones. And I feel like this is dark enough that I could use on doing makeup for clients with darker skin tones. So happy, I need to swatch this. I'm happy to have it. I don't know what this formula feels. Oh, she's very, very emollient. Very, very emollient. Like, I don't know if y'all can see the shine on my finger. And I did not have to dip my fingers in it a lot. So, is that the darkest one? I don't even know what's happening here. This is not very pigmented. Oh boy, okay, we will see what happens. Mm, I guess I need to take this out and try it right now because, not right now, but like later, <laughs> later this week because I feel like this is gonna turn into a greasy mess if I'm honest, so we'll see. Okay, I had to take a minute to sort everything because apparently this was three orders and I found another lip mask by Sigma, so I did get two of those. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so this is the second order. This was a duo, so you got two of these items as a group instead of just one. It was $17 for the Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. So it was a duo, you couldn't get just one. Um, I have not tried this. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. I don't know if they like it or not. It's in the shade Black. Not gonna open these right now, but thought it was a good time to try since it says it does such great things. I also picked up the Ellis Brooklyn Scent Duo. I love Ellis Brooklyn. I have one, two, three. Three of their fragrances, Myth, Sci-Fi, and Fawn in my collection already. So I decided to pick this up. They have a rose and then there's a travel of the Sci-Fi. These two together were $19. You can't beat that. Like normally, one of these is $19, $20, $35 for some of the even high-end ones. So two of them for $19. Couldn't pass it up. I do want to smell the rose one. I don't know when I became a rose girl, but apparently I am. That is very rose. Like I'm going to have to spray this with something else because I do not think, <laughs> I don't think I would wear that by itself. That is why I don't normally like rose. It borderlines on smelling very mature. I know I like sci-fi, so I don't need to open that, but I'm probably gonna spray that rose one on top of something else. I also got my favorite shade of the One Size Cheek Clapper Blush Trio. This is in the shade Rich Betch, and I it's spelled with an E. Um, I love the shade of this. It is my perfect everyday no matter what I'm wearing, I feel confident putting this blush on. I already have it, and I saw it on sale for $23, and I said I want another one. It has a cream, this shimmer shade, and then the matte. Absolutely gorgeous. Terracotta. Oh, it's so good. I know I don't need to be buying backups of stuff, but that's how much I love this. So, I, I just had to. I'm not even, no excuses. I wanted it. I got it. That was on sale, if I, yeah, $23, I said that. Next, I picked up this little Viseart, what is this, Fleurette Bizous. This is, it looks like it's supposed to be cheek and eyes because it says it's a face palette. 
This was $24. I actually think these shades are really pretty. And I was surprised. Especially, I love this because it looks duochrome-ish or it's just the sparkle is like a lavender in the pink. But I think this could be like a really pretty everyday good travel palette but you get this special little shade right here i feel like these blushes could work for me so i felt like it was worth it this was 24 dollars, and i know the quality of busy art stuff is always amazing so cute little travel palette next i picked up a body care item this is the pharmacy honeymoon glow 12 percent aha bha resurfacing serum i love this it does not smell good i don't love how it smells but I love how it works. I have this. I've had two or three bottles before. I always get them from Ipsy, from a discount. I never pay full price for it, but I know Pharmacy is a great brand. And I love using this. And I will tell you, I use it after I shave normally. And my God, it burns. I don't know why that's when I think to use it. But it definitely tingles. It stings. But I like using this on my legs mostly because, like I talk about all the time, Back of my legs are not that as smooth as I would like them to be. And so I feel like just using, I was told also by my esthetician who did my laser treatments. I think that's an esthetician. I think um, that using something that had an exfoliant could also help with the pores being clogged and possibly help with smoothing everything out. So when I saw this was on sale for $8, I needed to pick it up. I also picked up a travel size spray of Myth. This is my favorite Ellis Brooklyn scent. Absolutely love it. And now I have it in a travel size. So happy about that. That one was on sale for $12. Next, I lost my mind on this sale, y'all. I was just like, I didn't know this existed and now I need all the things. This is the Natasha Denona Fez eyeshadow palette. I love getting these little palettes like this because sometimes I feel like there's colors that you don't see in some of her other palettes. So it's just kind of nice. I have this one and the other one I believe starts with an A. I'm Amaya, Anaya, Ayana, something like that. But that's one of my other favorites that I got from a BoxyCharm. So when I saw this, I was like, I love that there's some pops the color in it and I love that it has a dark brown in it. Any palette with a dark brown, I'm gonna be happy. So can't go wrong with Natasha Denona's formula and I love me a good eyeshadow palette on a discount. Next, I picked up a blush and this was kind of nostalgia for me. This is the NARS Taj Mahal blush. This was one of the first high-end blushes that I bought. And I think when I bought it, I'm pretty sure I bought it off of Glambot. Y'all remember that? We used to buy used makeup off of Glambot. I even sold some of my makeup to them and it felt like a total ripoff. But this is that gorgeous orange shimmery blush. I had it, I'm not even gonna lie, probably 10 years ago. And so when I saw that it was here and on sale for $15, it just put me in my feels and I felt like I needed to get it. This kind of looks similar to that orange blush that I showed earlier. Maybe the other one was a little more bright, but we all know NARS blushes. Everybody used to talk about how they were to die for and the best formula. So this is just literally a nostalgia purchase. Next, I picked up something that I almost bought during the Sephora sale or a Ulta 20% off sale and ended up getting it for even more off. This is the Fenty Beauty bright fix eye brightener i got mine in the shade almond butter and i was happy because i was able to go in the store and figure out which shade i needed so that i could order it and make sure it was the right one although i feel like this looks light oh no it's not that bad so this is the packaging it's nothing new but like i said there are times oh yeah that's a good shade where I don't want to have such a heavy makeup look under my eyes that literally looks like my skin tone now since I have no tan. But um, I thought this shade was going to be perfect when I tried it in the store. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And it was a lot less expensive than if I would have got it from Sephora or Ulta. Next, I picked up a bronzer from Iconic London. And honestly, I'm a little nervous about this because I picked up one of their pot duos and the shades did not look like i should have known better the shade i picked up that was supposed to fit me was too light 
and then the next shade was too dark. I feel like this is going to be dark from what I remember. This was only $6 though, and it's in their deep bronze shade, but this is huge. Like, that's my face, half my face. Um, oh no, that's not too dark. Is that too light? No. I don't know why this is kind of giving me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Maybe the size and the gold, you know, we can. Let's just see. I feel like I have, I didn't have any powder bronzer on. Yeah, that made stuff a little tiny bit darker. I'm gonna swatch it. Cause Lord knows I got enough stuff on my face. Yeah. I mean, it'll be good with me being as light as I am right now, so it could be built up. But I know if I get any color to my face, that is probably not gonna show much. That's just the bad, that always happens when I'm ordering online. And especially for bronzers, I'm either gonna get it too light or I'm gonna get it too dark. So I have several that are too dark, so I guess it's a good thing to have one that works on days that I'm doing more of a no makeup makeup. And then last but not least in this order, no, we are not done. <laughs> I picked up the Violet Voss Sweet Violet Palette. If you do not know, despite wearing green all the time, if I'm doing a colorful look, purple is my favorite color. So when I saw this palette, I was like, for the price especially, but also because I love Violet Voss's formula, this was $11 and I just felt like I needed to go ahead and add it to my collection. If I can get it out the box. Ooh. I ain't putting it back in there. So this is just a cute little fun sized palette and it has 10. Yeah, 10 shades. You're going to get a purple look, but I love that they have these two golds to kind of switch it up a little bit. But this lilac shade is pretty. This shit, like all of them are pretty. I know I have other purple palettes, but I feel like Again, $11, and you can sometimes find Violet Voss at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I've seen these in there as well. So I really just wanted to try it because if you can still get it, then I can tell you guys it's a great starter palette if you want to delve into some color a little bit. All right, we have another fragrance. <laughs> I had not smelled this one. This is Ellis Brooklyn West, and I was just like, you know what? We're just going to go for it because why not uh oh where'd she go this one was also on sale for twelve dollars and i don't remember what it smells like this has a clean smell to it kind of almost like a cotton i'm gonna let that dry down because the initial spray i don't like it <laughs> I don't like that at all. Oh my God. Let it dry down. Let it dry down. Okay. Woo. I don't like that. Mm -mm. We'll see. Sit that over there. I also picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Primer. I've not had this for years. I bought it when it first came out and I remember my pump broke and I got so mad and I was kind of trying to scoop it out for a little while and then I just threw it away. But I know people still talk about how great this is and how it's still one of their favorites. So it was $18 and I was like, you know what? I want to try it again. So went ahead and grabbed it. Stuff like that. Primers are one of my favorite new products to try. What were we talking about? All makeup is <laughs> all makeup is my new favorite product to try. So let me stop. But I love primers. So I haven't tried that in a while. Oily people love it. Normal skin people love it. I am normal right now, so I just wanted to add it back in my collection. I also picked up a couple hair accessories. I picked up this detangling comb to keep in the shower, and then I also picked up these clips. Still working on wigs. I can use these in my hair, so I just thought this was a cute little duo. The comb was only $3. I love that it has a hook that I can put hanging in the shower. And then these clips were $8, so thought that was a good price for those. I also picked up another Natasha Denona item and this is what started me shopping because I believe Jamila, who always gets me to buy stuff, posted about this being on sale in the BoxyCharm Ipsy drop shop. And I was like, what is that? I need to go. 
I would not have paid full price for this palette, but I got it for $25 as opposed to $69 or $65, whatever it was when it came out. This is the Retro, Retro Glam palette. I'm too excited. This is really just for the collector in me. I'm not even going to lie because I don't do pastels a lot. Not to say that I won't, but I do love the kind of dark green grungy that they have going on and then some darker pinks. So I do feel like this is wearable. I would probably put my bronzer in my crease first to set the look up and then use this. I'm pretty sure I could get a few complete looks out of this, but I love Natasha Denona's formula. And again, for $25, like... What's the question? Because there's there isn't one if I'm gonna pick this up or not. I also picked up a backup and I say a backup because this is in my bathroom on my everyday makeup vanity right now. This is the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I use this gym days, office days. I rotate between this, my L'Oreal Glow Lock, and my Urban Decay All Nighter, so depending on what's going on. But if I just want my makeup to look good and hydrated and glowy and just feel refreshed, I love using this. Urban Decay All Nighter, I'll use more if I want my makeup to last longer. Same thing with the Glow Lock, but the Glow Lock I tend to use more for no makeup makeup days. So always looking for something to keep my makeup on and make it last but I like that I have different options and different formulas. Now, LYS is not an expensive brand, so I like that, but I was able to get this for $12, so that makes it even better, in my opinion. I think it might be $18 regular price, but it's really not expensive, so definitely worth it. I also picked up some nails. They have everything in this drop shop. I picked up nails from Glamnetic. I picked up these super cute short ones. Like I feel like these would be perfect for when I'm in prep and I don't want long nails but I still want to look cute. They are just a very cute nude, super short, but a few of the designs, a few of the nails have designs on it and it looks like a French manicure with the white tips and gold. I think you guys can see that. Yeah, the little gold specks on it. So I have super short nail beds, so these will be perfect for me. And then I also picked up I don't know how they say these are reusable. By the time mine are worn off, like they literally, paint has worn off the tip. They actually start use, losing their shape so they'll be more rounded if they're square or whatever. But these are also um, from Glamnetic. This is the Purple Power nail set. These are longer, but I just thought these were cute. I'm not a huge lilac fan, but sometimes when I'm being in my super girly mode and I want to wear purple I will like a lilac over like a royal purple but most shades of purple I like it's just lilac lavender or kind of like bottom of the list in the shades of purple for me the first set was ten dollars and the second set the purple was nine dollars I also ended up picking two of these up and I ain't gonna lie I picked up two because I forgot I ordered one <laughs> This is the One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I picked it up in the shade Dark One Neutral. This was $13 and I really did not mean to buy two of them. I don't even know their return policy, but I was just like, I don't think it's worth it. Will I use all of this concealer? Probably not, but I was able to go into the store and try these shades again. And the other one I have is too light, so I need to get rid of it, which I probably won't. And I'll say I'm going to use it for eyeshadow primer, and I probably won't. Hoarder! <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's me in a nutshell. So anyway, this is a perfect everyday shade for me, so that's why I got it. And I have heard full coverage. The other one, I couldn't wear too much of it because it was too light. So even though this has been out for a while, I'm excited to try it. And like I said, these were $13 each. Next, I picked up a blush from Persona Cosmetics. This is their super blush in the shade Caramel. And I say Caramel, 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 because it's C-A-R-M-E-L, not Caramel. Um, this was on sale for $12. And I feel like when I saw it, it reminded me of my favorite terracotta shade. And I was just like, I need to have it. But I don't know why I thought that is not... That's why I was not happy about this. I feel like the color, I could still wear this, but I feel like the way they showed the color online looks different than what I saw. This looks a lot more pink 
than what I was expecting. And now I don't think I can wear it. I guess I could wear it. Yeah. Once I blended it out, it looked a little better. But it's low-key giving me like that Dior super bright, cool toned kind of pink shade. And that's not really my vibe. It looks more of like a bronzy shade to me. And that's why I picked it up. And it's not. But I'll find something to wear it with. I also picked up another LYS bronzer. But this is their powder bronzer. This was only five dollars and this is going to be dark so this is the shade strength which is dark i hope this is not the one i have already but i feel like it might be this is going to be dark because the other one oh it's i mean it's dark but it's not horrible like i can make this work i feel like i have this already but i saw it for five dollars and i was like i'm gonna have it again and then i also picked up this ole henriksen ole henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer i saw manny mua talking about this and then i saw tachi talking about it and i was just like you know what i want to try it i want to try it because it's supposed to be really good and have really good ingredients and so that's all i needed to hear this was on sale for 24 dollars. we're almost done we got about five six products left Okay, this is not as bad as it was when I first sprayed it. I feel like I could see me wearing it, but I feel like I'm going to have to mix it with something. I'm going to try it by itself. I'm a purist, so I like to try stuff by itself first, but I feel like it's going to be something I need to mix because it's like a sweet citrus that I'm smelling, and that's not normally what I go for. Um, okay, so I also picked up another moisturizer. This is the Oil Control Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I picked this up to use for the summer because it is supposed to be oil controlling. I don't normally have issues with my skin being oily, but I feel like when I use an oil control product during the summer, it helps my makeup to last longer. Being in the south, southeast, whatever you want to call it, either way, it gets hot and stuff will melt off your face. So... I don't think I've tried this even when my skin was oily and I'm hoping it's not going to be too much. Yeah, it definitely says designed for oily skin, but it's a non-greasy formula. So you can't beat that. And I think this is a pretty decent size for a moisturizer. This was $12. Another skincare item I picked up is the LYS Beauty Think Bright Glow and Hydrate Serum. This was only $9 and I had not tried any of their skincare items yet. So I was really curious about this and I haven't heard people talking about it. But this has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. And then it also has pineapple and pomegranate extract and licorice extract. So this just looks so pretty and you couldn't even, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm hoping you can, but yes, you can. You see how it looks like shimmery in the bottle? That is so pretty. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm bringing this in the bathroom too because I want to use this. <laughs> I want to use this right now. I'm going to use it tonight, but then maybe on like under makeup, it'll help give me a little glow. I don't know. We'll see. Another brush, brush set that I picked up. This is the LaRousse, L-A-R-U-C-E, Beauty Christine brush set. First of all, this little thing is so cute. And then you pull this up and the brushes you get are a concealer brush. So your little flat concealer brush. And then you get a eyeshadow brush. So this is a little flat shadow brush. And then you get a duo fiber brush, which I don't use these a lot and I probably need to because they're supposed to be really good for cream products as well. And then you have an angle brush, which I'll probably use to contour. And then you also have another eyeshadow brush, a tapered blending brush. So this set was $6, especially with the little cup. Like you cannot beat that. I picked up another concealer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I have this one as well, and it's also very light. So I picked up the shade 14. And I am pretty sure this is like a perfect everyday color. It looks light still, but it is definitely not as light. So that's the Patrick 
Patrick Starr. <laughs> like Patrick Ta. Okay, yeah. Patrick Starr. Concealer right there. And then this is this one. So definitely lighter. But it's still darker than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I have already. And I remember, even though the one I have is too light, I remember wearing it and feeling like my face looked flawless that day. So I wanted to get a darker one. That was on sale for $12. So definitely worth it. I feel like this is normally like $25. So half off. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. I picked up a Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria Gloss and Balm. I don't think I have any Natasha Denona lip products other than a lip pencil that I picked up from her website, but this was on sale for $12 and it is just basically a lip gloss, but you can see, I hope you can see, it has some little sparkles in it, but gorgeous nude, you know, let's see. Oh. Ooh, that has, smells minty. Is it plumping? I feel like every time something's minty, it's plumping. But it doesn't say that. But I like the shade of that. I love how light it is and it has some pigment to it. That is so pretty. Might have to put you in my purse. And last but not least, I picked up another Lawless One and Done Mascara. I actually have one in my declutter bin because I bought it a year or two ago and it has dried out. So when I saw this on the website, I was like, yes, I get to replace it and not pay full price. And I got this for $15. So still a little pricey, but it was on sale, not full price. All right, guys, so that is it for this haul. I feel like I've been talking for a long time. That was three orders, but again, if I would have spent full price for these items, I don't even want to think about how much money I would have spent. So I'm pretty happy with myself. I, you know, I know I'm spending money, but I feel like I'm going to spend it anyway. So I would rather save money while I'm spending it, if that makes sense. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any of these products. Is there anything you're curious about or you have feedback on? Talk to me below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. If you love hauls, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.